If you still feel like you're fighting the software every time you open DaVinci Resolve, you're not alone. Because here's the truth, DaVinci is powerful, but straight out of the box, it's not necessarily set up to match your workflow. And if your workflow doesn't fit the way you edit, you're wasting hours every week doing stuff you shouldn't even be touching. By the way, I'm Joe, I've edited high-end commercials and full TV episodes, including Travel by Dart, which airs on Amazon Prime and airlines around the world. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the five workflow hacks I use every single day that saves me literal hours every week. Once you set them up, your editing will finally feel like it's flowing again. All right, let's dive in. This is the most obvious one, but also the one that most people never actually use. Let me put it this way, if you're still using the default keyboard layout, you're editing with training wheels on. The real speed comes when you remap your shortcuts to match how you think, your flow, your muscle memory. For example, I've got ripple delete on one single key. I've got my fades, clip colors, and swapping clips all mapped to custom keys I can hit without even thinking. And then I've saved workspace layouts. So whenever I'm grading, or cutting multicam, or just just working on sound. To do that, go to Workspace under Layout Presets, select Save Layout as Preset. Now you can load up that layout whenever you want by going back to Layout Presets and selecting your preset. And everything snaps into place instantly. No dragging, no resizing, just boom, ready to go. Now if you want a deeper dive into keyboard shortcuts, I've made a video about my custom setup. The link to that is up on the screen. But trust me on this, if you're still doing these actions with your mouse, you're burning time every single session. This is a real cheat code for organizing complex edits without breaking your timeline. Here's how it works. Let's say your main timeline is getting cluttered. Sound design, titles, color correction, maybe a second camera angle. It's a mess. Instead of stacking layers or trying to work on top of that chaos, select that whole section, right click and hit new compound clip. Boom, your 10 layers now become one clean clip. You can move it around, apply effects to the group, or duplicate it for alternative versions without messing up the base. Even better, you can open up the compound clip to jump inside and tweak anything at any time. It's non-destructive and totally modular. Now here's where it gets even better. You can create nested timelines, meaning you edit one sequence as a separate timeline. Then drop it into your main edit like a clip. This is perfect for anyone doing multi-section videos, like intros, chapters, or ad breaks. This way you can keep each part organized but still editable. It's like turning your edit into Lego bricks. You can snap pieces together but still change them at any time. Once you start nesting your timelines and using compound clips properly, you'll never go back to editing everything on one big messy timeline ever again. By the way, if you're self-taught and jumping between YouTube tutorials and still thinking, there's gotta be a faster way to do this. That's where I can help. I'll walk through your workflow with you step by step and help you build a faster, smarter system inside DaVinci Resolve that's actually tailored to you. You'll walk away with more clarity, confidence and a pro Process that finally makes sense. If that's something you need, hit the link in the description and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Back to the video. This is all about reusability. You should not be recreating the same edits every time you open a new project. This is where templates, adjustment clips, and timeline presets come in handy. Here's what I mean. If you have like a standard color grade that you use on all your talking heads, wrap it in an adjustment clip and save it in your power buttons. Or even better, save it as a power grade in the color page. Are you using the same subtitles every time? Create like a fusion title and drop it in your power button so it's available in every project. Or if you have a certain way you structure your timelines, bins, or even markers, save a full project template so every time you start something new your setup is already there waiting for you this isn't lazy it's efficient this is about speed and sanity, especially if you're working with 4K footage on older machines. Laggy playback will destroy your momentum. This is where you can use optimized media and playback resolution. You can right click on your clips and choose generate optimized media or generate proxy media if you need more performance and speed out of your system. This converts your footage into a format. Resolve can playback much more smoothly. Or you can go to playback under timeline playback resolution and set it to half or quarter resolution. Resolution. And if you want to go even deeper, enable background rendering in your settings. That way your timeline is always rendering in the background while you edit. Trust me, this one will make you feel like you just bought a new computer. This is one that a lot of people overlook. 
and that's the cut page, specifically source tape mode. If you're making vlogs, talking head content, or anything with a lot of short clips, this is where you make your rough cuts way faster. Source tape pulls all your footage into one scrollable tape, like a giant film roll. No clicking clip to clip, no dragging things around, just scroll, mark in and out and drop your selects onto the timeline. Then you can jump into the edit page and fine tune everything. It's like speed dating your footage, super efficient. This page was built for editors who wants to move fast. So use it for what it's good at. These are my five workflow hacks that have saved me hours every single week in the visual result. Now, if you're thinking, okay, this is awesome, but I don't even know where to start for myself. That's exactly where I help creators with one-on-one -on -one calls. Check the link below. And hey, if you got value from this video, drop a like, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you spotted the pink elephant, or just tell me which tip you're going to try first. See you in the next one.